I ho, I ho, I ho, it's off to work we go. I think that sums up this job. <laughs> Morning everybody, it's Nick at BMP. We've got a bit of a crazy one on this week. As it's come up to Christmas, what we've decided to do is we've separated into two gangs. So Chris, Ryan, uh, at another job in Hucknall doing a patio, which you're gonna see in a video next week. And me and Connell and a couple of subbies, we've got my mate Sean who's on the machine now, come to help us out. Um, so yeah, and we're doing a, about a 50, 60 meter driveway uh, with a few little bits, wall alterations and so on. Uh, the idea behind it is to try and get wrapped up as soon as we can for Christmas uh, and get things done. Obviously, I'm aware of the forecast and the weather closing in. And the last thing we want to do is leave a customer uh, in a mess over Christmas. So uh, we want plenty of time to get done if the weather does come in this weekend. So fingers crossed, all goes well this week and we have a nice, easy one, easing that last job anyway. So we've got DJ coming next week and what we're doing is we're reinstating this pillar further up so it opens up the driveway and he's coming in and putting a drop curb in all here and re-tarmacking the entrance to the driveway. So one of the jobs we'll do today is to cut the wall back and knock the wall down, remove the footing so it opens it all up. So I just need to sort of set that out and work out how many curbs we've got. So things are on the move. This is about the line we're coming to with the new driveway. So we've got to excavate it, but the lawn's already quite high. So it's almost as if we've got a, if you can see the level here, let me just come around, do a bit of an anica rice. Um, it's about a foot higher than the, the level we need to get it to, which is the top of this driveway, which means we have to reduce it a foot and then reduce it another foot. So uh, there's quite a lot of ground to come out of here, I think, to get to where we need to get to. So uh, it's gonna be a bit grueling. So I think realistically, probably dug out and all the way today, it's gonna be two lorry loads and then we've got the wall to come down as well. Um, so it's gonna slow us a little bit. So today I'd like to sort of get it dug out and everything away. Tomorrow it'd be nice to get the uh, stone in the edgings and maybe start laying something um, and go from there really. I ho, I ho, I ho. It's off to work we go. I think that sums up this job. <laughs> Pickaxe in some sort. Of, well, it's not a diamond mine, is it, Folger? I wish it was. I wish it was, mate. One day we'll find a Saxon hoard of gold, a Viking stash, maybe. So that's the trees down. We need to do this one a bit more delicately, but we've removed these with the machine. They'll be taken away. And as you can see, the driveway is already opening up now. So obviously when it's complete, the mouth of the driveway will be literally twice the, de you know, twice the width that it currently is. So this is always a nightmare we have, which is these are virgin cables. And at the house around the side, one's disconnected. However, there's no way of telling which one it is without testing kits, which we don't have. So we've sort of got to work around them all because at the roadside, they both seem to be connected. We can't work out which one's which at the minute. So, um, and obviously it runs diagonally through the garden, which is where we want the pile to be for the grab lorry. So they're just un going to be under the grab when he grabs, which is just a nightmare. So uh, I think we'll be lucky on this one if it, uh, if it survives the, um, the muck being taken away. Right, so me and Connell have been breaking out the edge along the garage to keep the threshold safe. We do that by hand so it doesn't damage. We're gonna block up to that. And then we're also trimming down here. This piece is staying in. 
Um, it's a piece of concrete, if you see it retains the existing driveway. However, if it's removed, it's got to be replaced with walling, etc. And obviously the customers on a budget, we all are. So it's a way of making quite a big saving. So uh, hopefully we can get away with this pour of concrete intact. So again, we're just gently trimming the concrete back. We're going to cut this bit of a steel saw here, get a nice finish. And we'll cut down this line here. So it's all, uh, yeah, so this can remain in and retain the driveway. Uh, it's going to be better than any like gravel board or you know ideally a block wall or brick wall but again it's cost so uh we like to try and keep the cost down for the customer we do make give them the option we ask them we explain to them you know have to get a brick layer in do the wall and so on it's another six eight hundred quid uh, and you know it's a big saving so if we can you know we, we'll always give customer cheaper options to make it affordable sean's uh well away now we're probably at depth up this top end we're just getting to depth along this side now a bit of a pile ready to go so yeah i think as it goes at the minute things are going to plan until we hit a, a water main or something <laughs> so, just the wall. so we're slowly getting somewhere Put the grab lorries here we're trying to get the first load of muck away uh probably be i think it'd be another load we're just going to get as much as we can on this one probably try and grab some of the wall and take that away the wall's proven to be difficult. One skin of it's solid concrete, so it's one solid slab. And when we try and break it, it's just pushing through. So it's gonna take a little bit more work, but we'll get there as we do. As you guys know, we always get the job finished. So that's our first load nearly away. We're just trying to get, we might as well fill the lorry. So we're just trying to stick another couple of ton in. And we're gonna break all this walling out properly, get the footings out, finish this concrete area and then grade it grade it through from here all the way through to the, the, the correct levels. So we're having an absolute mare with this wall. We assumed it to be a two skin wall. It's actually a slab of concrete at the back and a skin of brick and it's cracked. It was already cracked, so it's fell away. So I'm gonna have to find some kind of way to sort of re-render concrete in here. And of course, breaking it out, it's just it's just near impossible. We're really struggling with it. So we're um, gonna have to tackle this in a minute, try and get it out. I'm just gonna set the string lines up now and check we've got to depth, which I think we're okay uh, in this section of the job. And then obviously we'll get all the concrete out and whatever uh, when JCB, Sean, as I call him, gets off his blower for the hundredth time. <laughs> I thought my phone were bad. Jeez. But yeah, we're getting there. We'll get where we need to get today. And uh, as I say, we always get where we need to get. Don't we fold there? Are you happy? I can't say happy. Surviving. I'm living. We're living. The dream. We're surviving. Today, surviving. Living the dream. Okay, so that is all done for day number one. So we've got a grab load coming in the morning to get rid of this last load. Got a full tip of stones. There's about 15 ton of type one coming. Um, we're going to attempt tomorrow to put the edgings in, stone it up. And we're going to try and get it laid if we can. But obviously we're a couple of men down. We've got, um, we haven't got as many tools as we'd like. So it's probably going to slow things down a little bit, but... It is coming together and hopefully tomorrow I feel like we've we've got on top of it all. So excuse me. <coughs> so yeah. The battle continues. <laughs> so it is Wednesday morning. Uh we didn't start this job till yesterday, which was Tuesday. I had Monday off. I didn't have it off, I had all accountants, meetings and so on. So that took up most of my day. I had to nip into town and saw all that. So we didn't get started till yesterday. So the lads went and helped on Chris's job. But we're back again. We've got the grab lorry just waiting for them with a full load of roadstone. Um, it's half past seven in the morning, so it's still, still. I think the, the camera phones make it look brighter than it is. It's actually pitch black, but um, yeah, it's uh, pretty cold today. Feels about minus three. I think it's just above. It's about two degrees above. So um, yeah, we shall uh, continue and I'll keep updated as we go along. Okay, so we managed to get hose pipe and jet wash set up. And we've managed to clean the pavement down finally so uh that's a bit of a thing we've also we've washed this concrete down on this back wall 
because obviously you're going to see that when the driver is in so we didn't want any we've done a, it, it's an extra we weren't really it's not part of our job really but we've uh, we've given it a wash down for the customer this uh i talked yesterday about the concrete reinforcing that was down this side it's actually got like steels running through it and this was a pour from let me just get down here um yeah this is a solid concrete pour here so we've left that in at the cost again at the customer's request um you're not really going to get better than that anyway in terms you know unless you built a wall but again the costs but yeah we've managed to get away unscathed it's not damaged we've still sawed and polished the top sort of 50 60 mil from the top so it's ready to like we'll, we'll basically block up to that so you won't see it all it's quite a nice tidy edge as good as we're going to get i'm quite happy so yeah hopefully we'll get it stoned up bit of a hold up on the block pavers um my fault i didn't order them in time so they're coming tomorrow we've got some coming today um so we should hopefully get stoned up today and some of this driveway laid rest laid tomorrow and cut in and uh, i reckon we'll be finishing sort of friday monday at a push got a bricklayer coming in to build a new pillar at the weekend so yeah we are getting there right so grab lorries arrived we're just uh getting the type one off so we're going to take the stone, obviously the stone's on the lorry, we've got to get this on it. So we're going to get the stone off and put it over here and then we'll get this muck away. And um, yeah, we can get stoning up and whacker in. Got some materials coming in the next hour. So we'll show us your, we'll show you a little video of us knocking the stone around and setting up the, um, and whackering it all and obviously getting the uh, set up for the block pavers and everything else. I do love a fresh deliverer at a road stone. It's a beautiful thing. I'd, however, I don't like now having to move it all around here. <laughs> so yeah, we see how we get on. Okay, so John A's have just arrived. We've got a few materials here, which is going to get us going. We've got just a couple of packs of blocks, all that in stock, rest coming tomorrow. We've got the sand, we're just going to load them now on the, on the front. We're going to get this stone in and we're knocked about with a machine and whackered. And then we can get laying some driveway. Okay, sorry I've not uh, updated. So, stone's in, sand's down. We've just whacked the stone, the sand, and we're just gonna start laying some blocks. Um, like I said, we've only had a delivery of three packs in total, the rest coming tomorrow, so we can only do a certain area. So we've just screeded, we're gonna screed what we need to screed, and then uh, only lay that today, because there's no point in leaving. Basically, if you screed it, and you leave it overnight, somebody walks on it and it's wrecked and you have to do it all again anyway so lesson learned over years of doing it don't ever try and be clever Right, so we're all screeded. Like I say, we're only doing like a 20 square meter area because that's all we've got for the day. So we're all screeded up now. We'll flick over to another time lapse. <laughs> really sorry, I mean, it's difficult to video because I'm all, it's all hands on deck at the minute, so we haven't really got time to video. Um, but we'll uh, flick to a little time lapse so you can watch us get it laid up.
morning everybody well the weather's took a turn for the worse it's about it's about two degrees i think once the sun comes up it'll it'll get a bit better but um yeah we're, do, we're doing all right we're um we've got so much laid up to now as i said we only got a couple of packs because they weren't in stock so they come in any minute now hopefully um and then we're going to sand screed and lay this area here um so yeah let's crack on with it um unfortunately i've been hit with man flu again so i feel absolutely shocking but the show must go on as it does um and obviously with the freezing temperatures it causes a few issues so for example this is a sand we think yesterday look it's literally frozen solid so we have to now try and tackle the frozen sand but i think once we put the sand down on here We'll drop a couple of ton out, spread it, and when we whacker it, the vibration causes heat, so it should thaw the sand out, and the whacker should crush any frozen bits up. So we should be able to get sandscreen and laid today anyway. So, well, we don't have a choice. That's what's happening. So, yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay, so John A's have arrived. Absolutely brilliant. Eight o'clock in the morning. So that means we can get rocking and rolling. Fingers crossed, the, uh, to be fair, the sand is pretty well thawed out here. It's not too, thing, a bit of frost on the top, but nothing major. So we can chuck the sand straight down, whacker it, break them little lumps up, be absolutely fine. So we can definitely get sandscreed and laid today. Uh, it's just a matter of compacting it. If, it. if it carries on, basically what happens is, as I said, the sand freezes. So when we go to whacker the job, it's, uh, it's near impossible to uh, actually compact it. So we'll have to wait for it to thaw out. So yeah, but we'll, uh, We'll uh, get this lorry unloaded and then get some sand down and knocked about and we'll get it laid. Right, so thank God the sand wasn't frozen. So we've managed, because we didn't put too much down yesterday, we've managed to put the sand down, whack any little frozen bits out and screed it all. So we're, we're good to go really, so we're going to get laid up. Um, we should be able to get near bar finished, but obviously what happened tonight is the sand will freeze like concrete, like I say, and we won't be able to compact it, so... Unfortunately, we have to come back when it's above zero to whacker it and sand it to complete, but everything else near enough we can finish. The concrete, we've got to put, obviously, we're going to have to concrete around here to secure it all. So we're going to have to get some like antifreeze. Um, excuse me, I don't, I'm not actually using car antifreeze, but I don't know the name, but um, you put it in the mix and it'll give us a, you know, we can, we can use it in the, in the cold. So um, that'll get us backed up at least. But uh, yeah, so it's, uh, yeah, tough going, can't lie. But we'll uh, we'll get there. I'll fly over to a little time lapse of us laying it. it should take a couple of hours probably for us. It'll probably take thirty seconds in a time lapse, um, and we shall continue to freeze our nuts off. Okay, so we're laid up, as you've seen in the time lapse. I'll tell you something, I don't like to blow my own trumpet, but when faced with adversity, we don't just throw the towel in. So we're all laid up, we're marked up all the way around now. We're going to cut these borders and try and drop these borders in. Um, yeah, I mean, going off it, I think we could be near done tomorrow. Only situation is we've got a bricklayer coming to amend the wall at the weekend. We have a new pillar here, same as that one over there. Um, we've got some work to do on this wall, so we'll have to probably finish Monday. And if it freezes, we can't, as I said, we can't whack a plate it. So we're going to have to um, come back and do that when it thaws. Um, but bar that, yeah, it should be rock and roll and finished and tidy and everything. It just won't be whackered and sanded, so the customer won't be able to park on it. But I think it's looking good. And as our mate at D&J Project would say, not too shabby. All right, so that is majority of the borders cut in so tomorrow will be concrete in all the little fiddly courts snag in and so on but like i said the cold weather is going to hold us up from where we were at yesterday it is starting to look like a driveway so if we just had one warm day now in the next three days we'd be laughing so fingers crossed something changes although i highly doubt it 
So the customer has not only bought us out a round of coffees, but they bought us a cheeky little box, uh, a dairy box for there. You can't have none of these, you're uh, lactose intolerant, aren't you? Not today. Does that look like a man who don't like lactose? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's a bit of us. So, <whistles> top tier. We're getting better and better towards Christmas, aren't we? I was going to say, top level. So yeah, that's picked us up a bit. So we'll fire some of this coffee down us, a couple of chockies, and we'll get the rest of this driveway cut in. And uh, yeah, just abuse ourselves into the ground in an early death, hopefully. Hopefully, fingers crossed. <laughs> fingers crossed. <laughs> Morning everybody, Nick at b and um, We're on Friday morning, um, it's another cold one, I think it's minus two. Um, so today we've got uh, a bit of concreting to do, so we're gonna have to wait for it to warm up a little bit. Um, but we've got some antifreeze to put in the, uh, again, I keep calling it antifreeze, so I don't want people to pull me up. I can't remember what the name of the stuff is. Uh, accelerant, I think it is, or something accelerant. Um, yeah, so basically we put that in the mix and it gives you a bit more of a continuity on the weather. So I think it goes up to like minus five, then you can you can still use concrete up to minus five. Um, however, we plan on doing it during the day, so it should be warm enough. Um, and like I say, we use the uh, accelerator, which will get it set quicker. So um, the video this week, I apologize for a little bit short. Uh, reason being is me and Chris are on separate jobs. So normally if I'm off doing my clerical duties, quoting, admin, blah, 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 Chris will do a few videos and whatever. Uh, however, because he's on a separate job to me, I've had to do all the video in, plus I'm trying to work, plus I'm trying to quote, and then I'm trying to do the administration side of things, a minute, a minute, a minute, a minute, a minute, that stuff, office stuff. Um, so yeah, it's um, it's been quite difficult to record really, you know, because I'm literally having to get, uh, I have to get my hands dirty. So um, yeah, it's been a bit of a tough week. What we've got there, um, only thing holding us up now is the cold weather, if it had, warmed up we can then like i said yesterday we can whacker it all and complete it should be done today bar whackering uh, really the other issue is cleaning down if we, we run the risk of if we wash everything down and clean everything down it's going to turn into an ice rink which is quite worrying so um, we have bought some um grit some road salt um so we're going to try and wash all the pavements and grit them all so they don't freeze over because that's the kind of guys we are that's what you do you see make sure you don't have people slipping over and um who else would do that as a company? I know for a fact no builder's ever bothered to grit outside a job. Come on. Props, credit where credit's due. And it's not that I just don't want to get sued. <laughs> That's all it is. It's not for being a nice guy. It's just for him not, I don't want to, uh, yeah, I don't fancy losing my house. So, um, yeah. But we shall, um, I'm just at B&Q now. I'm just waiting for it to open five minutes early as usual. Um, so I'm just waiting for B&Q to open. I'm going to grab some topsoil so we can tidy up all the planters on completion. Um, I've got a little quote on the way to work and then uh, yeah, we shall go and see what Folds is up to. Okay, so yesterday we didn't have any tun bags for our rubble. So luckily this road's like a really quiet, I wouldn't even call it a cul-de-sac. It's like a little private road. So we put our blocks out here, but we're bagging them up and they're being collected this afternoon. So this will be all tidy and gone. We're just digging out now for the footing. As I said, we're gonna put in a pillar similar to this one here, or fingers crossed identical. Obviously we've matched the bricks best we can. However, obviously these have probably been here 30 years, so you're never going to get an exact, but the plan is to build a pillar that's exactly the same as this one here, up here. So we've measured it at 440 and we're going to drop a footing in. Um, and we've got a bricklayer, God bless him, coming in in the morning. He's freezing, so we've bought him some Hessian and we've got really de-icer for the mix and everything else. So yeah, the saga continues. Done it, Folger? Good, brother. And there's no glory in like he's in a Viking saga, it's more of a Saga holiday. <laughs> right, so just for the benefit of the tape, I've rock salted. Obviously, we, we, we're mixing in the, the hoses, you know. So I've rock salted all the uh, all the road down, if you can see it. So if someone complains and screams and shouts at me, you guys can back me up. That I've took the time. I mean, I don't think many people would bother to do this, but we've rock salted all the road and pretty much down to past that little manhole lid there. So break some of this ice down and obviously we've got to wash down again later so it'll be a good idea we're going to do it again we've got half a bag left make sure it's all nice and well <laughs> nice and safe so uh, we don't want anyone breaking the neck over the weekend and as i said i don't fancy being sued so uh yep gotta look after the public okay guys i'm just back in the office just doing that quote from earlier and editing up the video i just want to say again apologies for the video is a little bit short i did explain why um next week like i say we have a um 
Chris's patio job. So Chris has been recording. We'll have a video from his perspective. He's been having a nightmare, real bad with the frosty temperatures, and th this garden apparently is like a just slush. So it's been really tough on him. So we'll get to see that next week and see how he's got on. Um, and also the chili chicken wing challenge looms. We should have never open my big mouth in a good mood. I was feeling a bit chirpy and uh, decided to throw that into the arena. And now I have to do it. So I will be honest, I have done it before and I know how bad it is. So I am apprehensive. So we plan to I'll have a chat with Dave and Stevie and we'll try and do something next week. So it could be on next week's video or it could be on the following um, the chili chicken wing challenge but um, yeah it should be a good laugh anyway so uh, something a bit different for you lot to have a giggle over Christmas about um, just to say appreciate I don't think last week's video did particularly well but the one before that we just appreciate the views it was fantastic all the comments the likes honestly it helps us immensely so I can't express enough how important it is um, and how grateful we are so um yeah, I hope you guys have a good weekend. Enjoy the video and we shall see you again next week uh, for some more shenanigans in the freezing cold.